This is a basil. This is a fortified warehouse. They're exactly the same building. You have a vaulted space underneath, either for livestock or for trading stock, and a self-contained residence above with no internal access to the floor below. Typically thought of as Scottish, but found across the UK, this little building would be suitable for any medieval town, farm or server. I'm going to show you how we make it. To make a basil or fortified warehouse, you will need the following. Listed on the left of the screen are amounts for if you build the entire building just out of stone brick. On the right are the amounts for if you want to build something that is half stone, half lime wash. The amounts of stone brick and the amounts of wool are total amounts untextured. For texturizing, allow about 30 to 40% total of your texture blocks. We're going to begin with stone brick. I'm just going to build the basil as we go and then retexture. So start by putting down a stone brick where you want the front corner. We're going to go one, two, three, gap of one, one, two, three. That's the front. Come around to the side, starting at this as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Same on this side and across the back. That's our foundations. You should end up with a rectangle that is 7 by 12 with a gap in the centre front for the door. Clear out the floor inside and replace with the block of your choice. I'm using cobble for this. We're making the bottom vaulted storage part first. So we're going to build our foundation up to a total height of five. So one, two, three, four, five. Complete that all the way around. There we go. You'll note there's no windows. At the front here in the door gap, count up one, two, put an upside down stone brick stair, and then two stone bricks on top. Next, come to the inside. And on one of the long side walls, count up one, two, three. And on the fourth, run a row of upside down stone brick stairs. Same on the other side. And then another row of upside down stone brick stairs, one above and one further in. Repeat that over here. And then fill in the space between with top half stone brick slabs. That's our vaulted storage space done. Now come to the back, count across one and on the next put a bottom half stone brick slab, leave a gap of three and another bottom half stone brick slab, come to the front, count back one and a third bottom half stone brick slab. Hang lanterns from each of those to light the interior and place a spruce door in the doorway. That is the vaulted storage section done. Next we're going to texture this box so just go through and randomly knock out the odd brick. Try to avoid making a pattern and now just go through and replace the missing bricks with a mix of plain stone, cracked stone brick and if you want some andesite. If you want to mix a little cobble in there go ahead but remember less is more. Next we're going to make access to the floor above. If you are building this as a basil out in the country come back two from one corner and place ladders all the way up. If however you're building this as a fortified warehouse in a town, let's make a staircase. Come to the side where you want the staircase. Count back one, two, three and across one. Now you'll need some waste blocks to do the next bit. We're going to go up three and get rid of the waste blocks. Place a top half slab behind and one next to it against the wall and then bring the stairs up another one, 
two and then place a top half slab behind that last stair. So you end up with a staircase like that. Now you can leave it like that if you want or you can put some balustrading or a type of framework around it. I like to use spruce trapdoors to do this. Start with two spruce trapdoors at the front here. Put one next to the next stair and one on top. And we're going to go up continuing to do that one and one on top. At this corner we're going to make a support. So there we go, that's two more. And we're going to do another support here. And coming round to the top. Two more trap doors. Make sure you place them so that they flip up the correct way. As to this, we're going to place one level with the top of that top half slab. We're going to bring them all the way down to make supports here and then we're going to place trap doors coming down the stairs and surround the platform at the top to make a little barrier so that people don't fall off. There's our stairway. You can leave this one in or you can take it out, depends on how you want it to look. Now that we're up here, fill in the trenches made by the vaulting downstairs so that you end up with a nice flat floor. Now we've got choices for the next floor. You can continue on building in stone. It'll be exactly the same instructions, it'll end up looking like this. Or you can change materials, you could change to wood if you wanted. I'm going to change to something that hopefully looks like a lime washed building. Now you could use a resource pack, I've certainly done that in my Vastin video which is linked in the description, but you can also do it in vanilla and I'm going to show you how. I'm going to start by making the entire top floor in white wool and then we will swap out snow blocks and white concrete powder to give a bit of texture variation. So we begin at the front corner again come right the way across seven blocks, come down this side 12 blocks, counting the front, across the back this is one, two, three, leave a gap of two and place two more and fill in this side until you come to the landing. Leave a gap and put one more, there's our doorway. Now we're going to build this front side up to a height of four, so one, two, three, four. Do that here. Another column of four. And we're going to come up one, two, leave a gap, and one. Column of four, one, two, leave a gap, and one. And two more columns of four. Now on this side we're going to build up columns of four. So this is the first one. Then we've got a second, a third, and a fourth. On this next one we're going to leave a gap of one and put two above it. We're going to do two more columns of four and then place one and leave a gap and one above it and fill in the rest of the row with columns of four. We're going to build up all the blocks at the back to a total height of four. Then come around to this side, we need four columns of four counting this, so that's two, three and four. On the next one leave a gap of two and put one at the top and then complete the rest with full columns of four. And above the door place two blocks. Coming back round to the back and coming off this we're going to go out two and then across two more and one here. So you've got a little U shape like this. Build the sides up to a height of four and this one in the middle to a height of three. Now at our short ends we're going to build up a gable frame. So five across, then three, then one, 
do the same at this end one two three four five then three then one that's the upper structure done now this window here we're going to turn into an arrow loop so we might do it from inside doesn't make any difference but face towards the back right way up upside down stone brick stair fill all the rest of the window gaps with a fence of your choice I've chosen dark oak and pop a door in the doorway I like to have the hinge on the same side as the balustrading that's the main structure done got a little bit more to put in before we can texture the top floor so come around to the back and we're going to put two upside down stone brick stairs as corbels and top half stone brick slabs right the way along and also grab a dropper and place it upside down in the gap in between the stone brick stairs now it's time to texture this so same as the bottom floor knock out odd blocks try not to make a pattern and remember less is more now that that's done go around and randomly replace blocks with white concrete powder and snow blocks and just keep mixing and matching them until you're happy with the balance once you're happy with it we can start with the roof so I'm using polished blackstone brick stairs but you could use whatever you wanted you could use wood you could use nether brick I would avoid using stone brick I think it would end up being a bit too much so go for a different color either a wood or one of the darker brick options so with your roofing material starting at this top layer of the side wall we're going to run right way upstairs right the way along extend them out at each side and place an upside down stair behind them and then build your next layer and keep doing that till you get up to the apex of the roof when you come to the extension just treat it exactly the same way upside down stair and do the next row with that done build the roof exactly the same way on the other side there we are that's the roof now at each end at this topmost block an upside down stone brick stair and then run a row of bottom half slabs right the way along now to finish the roof come around to the back and we're going to place a right way up stair another one at right angles and then three bottom half slabs in front come up onto the roof and we're going to place a chimney we'll be building a fireplace inside so make sure that you make the chimney out of the same materials so standing on the opposite side of the roof to this little bump out we're going to on the top row we're going to come back one and two and now place one two three chimney blocks and a matching slab on top there's your chimney that's the roof and that's the outside of the basil pretty much done I know it looks quite ordinary it is quite an ordinary little building if you want you could pick up the outside a little bit by running dark oak fence down either side at the front put an upside down stone brick stair for a corbel underneath each just gives it a little bit more of variation let's do the inside Now inside you've got one big room we're going to fix up the roof first the ceiling and then we'll get on with decoration so you need wooden stairs of some sort I'm just using spruce and upside down on this first row leave a gap of two do another row another gap of two and then the last row with a gap of two should be up against the back wall and repeat that going back on the other side Put a full block or a bottom half slab to match the upside down stairs in the gap in the middle and now you want something for the gap in between that looks like plastering or lime washing I've found the most successful is smooth quartz so upside down stairs
and then a whole block or a bottom half slab in the gaps in the middle. Now that the roof's done, let's build the fireplace. Come to this back corner here that's two blocks wide. We're going to place one, two and three blocks to match our chimney. A stone brick stair sideways and a stone brick stair facing forwards. Pop a campfire in the half. Now come to the very back and on top of this upside down dropper we're going to place a right way up dropper. That makes a little privy. And in this space here we're going to place one two spruce trap doors and then a bed on top of that and yes the bed is over the privy the smells from the privy were supposed to keep bugs away go figure now to decorate this keep it really simple I'm going to put a little table in the corner I'm going to put another one here next to the door um, I'm going to make bench here and we'll put a cup on it and I think we'll put a lantern and we'll put a lantern here by the door as well and now I'm going to make a table so um, from this table we're going to come forward one two three and across one and put two right way upstairs with a gap in between turn around to face them leave a gap and put one more and then spruce fence either end and spruce trap doors on top for a tabletop. That is all the furnishing for the inside. Now the other thing you can do is you can hang a lamp near the door. You can also put one under the stair if you want or maybe there, maybe there's better, yeah there's better. You can also, if you want, use chains to hang lamps at the front. It's up to you, but the, the thing with the basil or with the fortified warehouse is you keep it simple. It's not an expensive building. So there's the basil, or in this case, fortified warehouse. It's suitable for practically any medieval farm or town. If you want to see me building this in survival, click on the link that's on the screen now. Also, watch through to the end for some variations. And I'll see you next time.